Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to easily create a freeze frame, also known as creating a still image, from any point in your timeline in DaVinci Resolve. It's really simple and there are several ways to do it. I'm gonna show you guys the basic way and then a faster way with the keyboard shortcut. When you create a freeze frame from a clip, it's gonna be wherever your playhead is set. So here we have this video that's several minutes long. So if we wanted to take a freeze frame, just have the clip selected. And then here in your inspector, if you don't see your inspector, just click on it right here on the top right, and you can scroll down to where it says speed change. Now here under direction, you'll have forward, backwards, and then to the right of it, a little snowflake symbol. That is freeze frame. By clicking that, you will automatically create a freeze frame on this clip. It will do a split, so cut your clip into two, as if you did it with the blade tool. And then the clip to the right is gonna be the entire duration that was remaining, but now with no audio, and the freeze frame for that entire duration. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and undo that. Let's say you wanted your freeze frame to just be a small piece instead of taking over the entirety of the remaining clip. You could find your main spot, do a split, which I have a keyboard shortcut under the key S, or you could use the blade tool here. You can zoom in if you'd like, or just move one frame over. You can do another split there, zoom in more, and then you could put the playhead to the start of that little clip, which is just one frame. Click the freeze frame, and then now you can do whatever you want it with this clip. And then now if you wanted to, you could bring this clip up to another track. If you have audio that you didn't want to cut, just pull from your clip on the left or on the right and close that gap. Now your audio will be seamless. And then now you have essentially an overlay of that still. And you can make this as long as you want to essentially. All right, so we undid all that. And now the faster way is to assign the keyboard command. Go up to DaVinci Resolve on the top left, click on that, go to Keyboard Customization. You can choose whatever key you want. I have Control F. Now to assign a key, you would just go search for the command, which is Freeze Frame. And so long as you're under All Commands or under Clip, you'll see it pop up. Just click the little plus symbol and you can type in whatever keyboard shortcut you want. Again, I already have Control F assigned. Now when you have it with a keyboard shortcut, when you do the key command, it's gonna create the freeze frame wherever that playhead is. And this time it will not do a split. With the keyboard shortcut, it's going to do the freeze frame from wherever the playhead is, but keep the entire duration of the entire clip without cutting it into two. So for example, let's say this is where I want my freeze frame. Control F for me. And then now the entirety of the length of this full clip is this still. Let's undo that. If you wanted to do pretty much the same thing we did earlier, making a single frame with creating an overlay, you can just do a split and then really however long you wanted to, you could just do the split at the end of the desired length. Split, bring it up to the next track. Now again, it's wherever you have the playhead. So if you want it at the beginning, bring the playhead there. Control F for me, rejoin the bottom clip. And then now you'll have that freeze frame. And you can put your text or whatever you wanted to do with this. Now I also have another way that I don't really use for freeze frames, but it does give me the option. And that's with the keyboard shortcut that I have for change clip speed. For me, it's Shift S and this gives you the little pop-up window for change clip speed. Now this is a shortcut that I use whenever I'm pretty much doing a clip in slow-mo, but this also gives you the option for freeze frame. So if you just click on freeze frame, have that checked, press change. Now you'll do the freeze frame method that is the same as the inspector with the little snowflake icon. Again, that first version has the split and the freeze frame starting from that playhead for the remainder of that clip. So there you have it. That's how simple it is to do a freeze frame in DaVinci Resolve. On this channel, we have a DaVinci Resolve playlist with a lot more tutorials, so make sure to check that out. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.